Pour me water mm, Holy water mm, Quand this fire Pour me water Some holy water Make it quench this fire uh, this is 19.4 Captain FM hits Not Homework. I'm Anne Mora and I'm with Mr. Easy. Zagadab. What does Zagadab mean? Oh, don't ask me. Oh my God. <laughs> Zagadab is just like when you're feeling something, you're just like Zagadab, like spiritual, oh, correct. It's, it's just in your soul. Yeah, vibes. It's, just in your it's heart. actually from, you know, I used to listen to Benny Man and okay. he used to go Zagadab. Zag, yeah. Zag. And then one day I was freestyling and I love the beat so I just like said Zaga that. You know that's become a thing in Nairobi like everyone's yeah. like oh how are you? Oh for real. That's good. That's good. It's actually being good. That's good. So I'm really curious how do you go from being on Watosin Baji yeah. Bade, yeah. the uh, chemical engineering yeah. master, yeah. right, to Mr. Easy? Like how does that I'm happen? I'm still, I'm still, stop that, I'm still Although I toast in Ajiba, there ain't nothing changed. Man. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. It's just that maybe now a lot more people know me. I can like I could travel, perform. You know me. Yeah. If I was just if you know, you you might have not known me like two years ago. Right. So, but it's still the same me. Still the yeah. same guy. Yeah. Do you ever think you're gonna use your masters or you any of your degrees? Uh, I think like in a way I use it. Yeah. Because like, you know. In the way I and my team operate, like we definitely use it in the way we think, in the way we make music, like so I don't think it's but in terms of like taking a nine to five, I doubt. Okay. I doubt. I, I doubt. Sure. Yeah, but not everybody can. You know, yeah, you know. obviously nothing will get done. I think some people like nine to five because like it's Which it's stable because like it's stability, it's structure. Maybe our parents, but no, people. even like. So I'm on my friends like 95 because oh, yeah? at the end of the day, not everybody wants to risk it or, you know, oh, in, 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 uh, if you're an entrepreneur, like your, your pension is not promised. Yeah. If everything falls, you're gone, you know, so. Now, if we're going to talk about like entrepreneurship, you've yeah. been working not just with music, even yeah. on the low. What's the craziest thing you've had to do for your hustle? Uh, there was this time I was doing like gold marketing okay. in Ghana and I, I literally had to go like into like a deep forest where deep mountain where there was no phone network nothing and i didn't understand the language they were speaking then yeah. people had told me this place is crazy they kill people blah 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 and i went there you still went and then i got into trouble how please tell me we were we were digging we were digging somewhere we didn't know that it was like um we we're doing a test like mm -hmm. prospecting we didn't know that it was a sacred like you know when it's dry season yeah the, the water doesn't flow so yeah. we didn't know and then the community, they're like, you've messed up our sacred. Damn. Um, you're not supposed to do any form of... How'd you get out of there. that then? I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard to run if you're Mr. Easy, you know, though. You no, know, at, at the time, I wasn't Mr. Easy. I was just like a young guy just hustling, it. trying to yeah. do gold business. So I took off my shirt like I was going to sleep and then <laughs> into the bushes. Okay, just so ran. If we're going to talk about Ghana, now you're Nigerian born, but you've yeah. lived in Ghana for quite a while. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so seven, who do you yeah. belong to? Some people think you're yeah. Niger. Some people yeah. think, you know, I feel you like it's, it's the same. Like I'm Nigerian, yeah. Yes. But at the same time, I feel like I'm a product of my environment. Okay. You know, and my environment being Ghana, mm -hmm. right now with Kenya, yeah. to the week before that, it was Lusaka. It was Great Britain, it yeah. was South Africa, it was, you know, at the end of the day, I've, I, I don't really, I don't even like, um, you know, I think first of all, mm -hmm. I'm a human being, yeah. you know, so that's, that's the most important identification in the global community of human beings, single, everybody has a soul, mm -hmm. and your soul, your soul is not, is not Kenyan, your soul doesn't have a nationality or a language or or a religion yeah, or true. an orientation your soul is just so yeah and yeah. i was telling you before i was in florida actually yeah and you've signed on to diplo who's from florida yeah so how is it now being on a whole new record yeah. label making 12 songs with him yeah. and then now being on this whole new record label? Oh, yeah so you know with with the relationship with diplo it's not i'm still i'm st it's not like a traditional record deal yeah. i don't think i'd ever sign a record deal okay. you know it's more of a partnership for North America. So my music goes via yeah. my descent in North America. So nothing changes because it's still, I'm still making my music. Okay, now I'm 
curious you know. though, right? Because some people call Diplo a cultural vulture, uh, if I'm being very honest. Uh, what do you think about that? You know, at the end of the day, I've like it's the same thing I keep saying, that we are all products of an environment. Mm -hmm. Now, the way you dress, yeah. if you had grown up in a different place, or if you were, if you were in a different environment, you won't dress like this. The way, the way you do your nails, even though I know you're running away from. <laughs> The that way out. you do your nails yeah. is, is you've been influenced by your environment. Yeah. So even the music like we make, I don't want to speak for anybody or speak for Diplo, yeah. but the music I make like is, is, is fusion of everything, mm -hmm. you know, so I really don't like getting into into that. Yeah, into this conversation. That's fair. I mean, he has to defend himself and he's not here. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about music, then who do you want to collab with in Kenya? Is it anybody? Um, you know, to be honest, like there's what with making music i never wake up and say oh i want to work with this person okay. i just let the vibe okay. so if i if i if i meet you whether you're an established artist or you're an emerging artist to be honest when i came in i asked um i asked i forgot his name the guy who came to pick me i asked him i'm like yo is there any like female emerging artist like that's just coming up because yeah. i feel like there are a lot of male superstars mm -hmm. in Africa, but not enough female superstars. Mm -hmm. At least in this world of equality, there should be like 50-50. If we have, if, if we have um, 10 superstars in, in Kenya, yeah. there should be five female and five male. So I, I really want to work, to be honest, between you and I, mm -hmm. I prefer to work with the female artists. You know, okay. to, and not even female superstars, like female emerging artists. Yeah, if you could give me. Yeah. He sent me like some YouTube yeah. links. Yeah. Actually, even some SoundCloud links, some really good yeah. ones that you should yeah. check out. Yeah. And I was thinking, um, okay, so that's on that music side. Yeah. Now, if you go into giving back, yeah. you know, because a lot of artists come in from yeah. international countries and then yeah. they give back, but yeah. you don't see a lot of local artists yeah. going out to give. What are you doing to give back to your community and maybe even to East Africa? Um, you know, we've. We try, we try when we can, you know, for instance, like on Pommy Water, you know, every million stream of Spotify, we've been doing well across Africa. The cost of a well yeah. is more than the cost of one million stream, yeah. you know, but just the symbolism. Yeah. So that's what we're doing this year. Hopefully, Pommy Water is almost on five million streams, yeah. which means five wells. So hopefully before the year ends, it will be on 10 million streams, which will mean Ten wells for ten communities mm -hmm. across Africa. So, so I'm get involved in that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, sure. You should. Talk to people about yeah. That. Yo, my people, this is your boy, Mr. Easy, and you're on hits, not homework, with myself, Mr. Easy, Anita, and and Tracy. That's yourself. Boom. Like a Done. Oh.